Hey y'all, welcome to Word to Hannah. Welcome back if you're returning. So just to put into um, put things into even more perspective regarding the um, channeling that I received earlier that's currently uploading, I'll probably upload in the next 30 minutes or so, is that one of the things that's happening in order to affect other people's uh, frequencies, specifically those of us who have done the work to heal ourselves, is there's people who are unhealed who haven't done the work who are essentially trying to throw a monkey wrench in our whole situation and bring our vibrations down because they don't like the way they feel when they're around somebody who's healed that's the them problem um so <laughs> it's it is so funny because like if you're on the light path and you're you know divine and emperor and empress whatever whatever you want to call yourself and you know that you've healed maybe you've experienced the gang stalking you've been a black sheep say, woo -woo. Um, you know that you've already experienced all the name calling and all the nonsense all the people who do that thing that i already said that i hate and i can't emphasize enough how much i hate for somebody to essentially qualify themselves as being a subject matter expert on something that they know nothing about especially when they're talking about a whole entire human being and we most of us spend most of our lives not even knowing who we are ourselves so for somebody to qualify themselves as being a subject matter expert in regards to someone else who is the subject and to then say oh, okay well i have an opinion so now my opinion is what it is in blase woo woo and i can talk about this person it's like no just because you can put a few words together and formulate a sentence where someone else is concerned does not mean that you know what you're talking about and then and thus you have a right to be talking the only thing you need to be doing is shutting the fuck up so where the perspective comes in is first of all recognizing that okay so this is where you might find yourself experiencing that you know your light irritates their demons kind of thing and what that's gonna look like is people essentially mistreating you and or mischaracterizing you out the gate and that is because your light and your healed energy does bother them because most people are negatively charged um, and so when they aren't resolving their internal issues those internal issues are essentially carrying them around everywhere that they go and it shows in the way in which they show up and when you don't show up in that same capacity and match that unhealed energy for unhealed energy they think oh well there's something wrong with you but no somebody who's not healed cannot sit up here and say anything about someone who is and while being healed is like a lifetime journey it's not something where it's like you do it and then you're done it still is a situation where it's like you experience too many ascensions too many gifts too many connections with angel with the most high with ancestors and things like that and you've done too much internal work also called shadow work to be in a position where you're sitting up here and you're looking at other people and so because you're not looking outside and you're looking within someone who does not look within and only looks outside cannot say anything to you now they can put their mouth up on it and say some shit but recognize that just because they talking don't mean that what they saying means anything like they like you know that people can talk without saying shit all the damn time and it's foolish it's foolish to do so and it's also foolish to look at other people from your own realm of consciousness and say that okay well you're not seeing things the way that i see things you're not showing up in the capacity in which i feel is best so i have the following negative attributes of uh, attributes to associate with you your name your likeness and your character because you're not being who i think you should be the way that i think that you should be it but then these same people foolishly turn around and go into other environments whether it be work church um the store wherever and they expect to be accepted for whatever way in which they show up as diverse from the rest of whatever group it is that's occupying the same space as them at the same time and they want to be accepted but then when they're around someone whose energy is different from theirs or whose perspective whose um whose light is different who shows up in a different capacity and i'm gonna get on that too in a second um then they want to point their finger and 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 all the more reason why these individuals should definitely be shutting the fuck up because they don't recognize how it all goes full circle how that butterfly effect really takes hold and what it really looks like in terms of what it is that we put out constantly being put back given back to us and so essentially just being like you know what let me not even put out any divisive 
um, energy, messages, etc. Because I'm going to wind up getting it back. And we do all wind up getting it back, good or bad or indifferent until we learn the lesson. And so when these people find themselves being discriminated against or being treated like an other, they still, st like, I was going to say stupidly, they don't recognize that by putting that out, that's what, why, that's why they're getting it back. And so all the more reason for them to just hush because they ain't even evolved enough to be talking about somebody who has. Um, hold on. So um, the other thing that I said I was going to touch on is the part where somebody who... <laughs> where people have an issue with your presence or they want to mischaracterize you before they start hating. Now, that's, this is going to be twofold. First of all, every time I say first of all, I think to that clip from the Bad Girls Club where Megan was like, first of all, bitch. But <laughs> that really is, like, that really is what I do mean, too. I'm not going to add the clip into this video, but recognize that if you hear me say first of all, you can go ahead and add the first of all, bitch meme because I'm absolutely saying it like that. So, um, you got to understand that, and this is also the other part of the perspective thing, is you show up in a capacity in which you just chill and mind your own business. Like, if you've healed, you've evolved, you're just doing your thing, you're just living your life and trying to maintain and live sucker free. Somebody who has a problem with that is a motherfucking hater. And somebody who has a problem with that and takes issue and finds some sort of nitpicky something to say is not somebody whose opinion should be given a whole lot of weight because their perspective isn't even clear. It's not even, until they begin to do the work, their entire perspective is going to be rooted in taking issue, not in living peacefully. So your, your goals aren't even the same. What it is that you want for yourselves isn't even the same. Your values are not the same. What it is that you require and what it is that you need is not even the same. The other thing is that a lot of these individuals I'm noticing like to sit up here and they'll see somebody who's healed. And yes, I'm going to use myself as an example. They'll see somebody who's healed, who's chilling, who is a whole entire vibe, who's not like, if, if you're, I don't know, for other, other groups, other, um, ethnic groups but for my ethnic group it's always going to be some old crab in a barrel mentality it's always going to be some like um it has a tendency of being crabs in a barrel hopefully that's something that can begin to shift as we begin to shift our, our consciousness and things like that um that'll be something that changes about our group but showing up in the capacity in which the majority is or the way that they think you it's, it's, it's like what I mentioned before and I'm sure your grandmama done said it too it's like where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't that so somebody gonna find something to complain about and it baby once people notice that you're not showing up in that capacity that alone in and of itself can have you experienced in some form of like social or professional um like ostracizing but that's not something that I'm experiencing um, because, <laughs> because it's not something I'm experiencing, but I still see it and it, it does carry with it its own frequency. And when you're healed, you're not attracted to that frequency. You're not going to be comfortable around it. And so if you find yourself in any kind of situation where it's like you can't really stay to yourself and you have to be around other spirits, other people um, and other energies, you know, it's. It's just one of the things that you just have to recognize and just go on about your life and just be like, you know, this is what it is. And then just do what you need to do to clear your energy and to keep your energy clear because they're going to be projecting energy. They're going to do it. And so when you show up and you're being different from the majority, they also may begin to hate and try to associate negative characteristics and negative, you know, personality traits. They might even have the audacity to try and like, um, throw like issues at you and give those issues like a clinical name and things like that right before they start hating but recognize like that's just a disclaimer 
you know, for, for any bullshit. So just like when there's a disclaimer for some medication that you, that you, you know, your grandmammy was finna take and you know she shouldn't be taking it. They finna be like, oh, let me drop all this information real quick to let you know why the information I'm sharing, I'm finna share about this drug is, a, is problematic. The hating is the same way. They're just trying to justify their behavior so that they can seem like they're not a hater, but they are actually a hater. The same way the disclaimers are dropped about medications that people shouldn't be taking to make it seem like, you know, in spite of all this, take this drug. It's the same thing, okay? It's, it's all the same. And recognize that this is something that you can absolutely lay a prayer to and shut the whole situation down it's just a matter of recognizing that you have the power to do it and then doing it